Hi guys, so thanks for tuning in to my video today. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on a very 60s Bridget Bordeaux eye makeup and we've gone for actually a matte base today with a little bit of glow around the edges and I've also got the beehive hair to top it off. So my very talented co-worker Emily has done this hair for me today. She is called Emily's Roses on Instagram. I'll tag her in the description below, but make sure to give her a follow. If you want to see how I've completed this look step by step, then stay tuned. So I'm going to start off by prepping my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in 16N. So I'm just going to apply this all over the eyelids as an eye base, drag it all the way up to the eyebrow and drag it out. Then I'm just taking a fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend out the edges. Right. Next I'm going to go with my Tarte Clay Play Must Have Palette. We're going to use this shade here which is Smoke. I'm taking a Morphe M535 brush. We're just starting with this colour in the crease. I'd say this look is like quite rock chick. We're going to do like a um, soft brown eye with a really black smoky liner. Make sure you can get in the colour just here, underneath the eyebrow. And I'm kind of like dragging the colour into the middle of the lid. So starting in the crease and then dragging it down onto the lid. And then windscreen wiper motions to do the crease. Next I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to use this shade which is called Ember. I'm taking a Peaches and Cream PC37 brush. I'm just going to pop this into the crease. So this brush is like quite small and tapered. It's a perfect size to just get right in the crease. So I'm going to take it at the very edge and at the front. And take the first brush and just blend that out. Next I'm going in with my tar concealer again. I'm just going to pop a little bit of this in the centre of the lid. So putting it directly like above the pupil. Just taking a, a clean flat brush, just blending it out. And then just give it a little blend out again. Next I'm going in with the Marc Jacobs eyeliner. So this eyeliner is actually £27 but I got it in a little set for 32 or 35 and it was the black liner, a little mascara, and the brown eyeliner brownie. This liner, from like what I've heard of other makeup artists, um, I got my makeup done by a makeup artist called Painted by Spencer, and he actually recommended this to me. It is probably the most hard wearing and darkest pencil eyeliner that you'll be able to get. Um, yeah, I would definitely say it's worth the money. I've worn it, and it's lasted me the whole evening without having to ever top up, which is obviously like non hair off for eyeliner so it's definitely worth getting. I want this to be like a smudgy feline flick. So I'm doing it just to the middle. I find that using a angled, large angled brush is really good for smudging out liner and it's easy to put a flick on with it. Just smudge over that line. I'd say with this liner, it's quite easy to smudge out, but once it's dried, you can't move it. So you have to be like within the 30 seconds of putting it on, you have to smudge it out if you want that smudgy effect. Then I'm going to go over with the second coat. And then I'm just popping a little flick on the edge. I'm going in with a finer brush now and I'm just going to pull this out. I'm 
take some black and smudge it into the, the liner. I'm going to take the black liner and I'm going to line the lower lash line. So I've just done the other eye, now I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Mascara in Legendary Lashes. Next I'm going to go in with my Primark Individual Lashes and we're just going to pop a little few on the ends. Right, so that's it, eyes are done, we're going to go on to our face makeup. I'm going to start by applying the Dior um, Face and Body Glow. Next, I'm going in with my Dior Forever Glow Foundation in 3W, which is a little bit dark for me, so I'm going to mix it with something a little bit lighter. So I'm going to pop this, just two pumps on my hand. I'm going to pop it around the edges of my face. I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty Match Sticks and this shade is French Vanilla. I'm just going to pop this in the inner part of my face here. Going in with a Morphe M335 brush, I'm just going to buff this out. Going in with a second layer. Next, I'm going back in with my Shape Tape in 29N and I'm just going to counter up these under eye circles. Going back in with my Morphe M335 brush, I'm just going to pat this in really gently. I don't want to press too hard because I don't want to buff the product off. Next, I'm going to take my Beauty Blender, give it a little spray with the Pixie Glow Mist and then just press everything in. Next, I'm going to go over the top with my Shape Tape in 16N. Then I'm going to go back in with my French Vanilla. I'm going to take an angled brush and I'm just going to draw a fine line down the centre of my nose. Draw two lines over here. So again, I'm just going to leave that to sit in the skin before I blend it out. I'm going to start off by just blending the edges and then I'm going to press it into the skin with a beauty blender. I'm just going to press everything in. Next, I'm going to take my Huda Beauty Tantor in fair, and we're just going to contour out our cheekbones. So just take a light amount of product and blend it in.
Next, I'm going to take my two setting powders. I'm going to take the Huda Beauty Cupcake Powder and the Bare Minerals Mineral Bell in Original. And I mix them together and pop them on a beauty blender. Scrub out underneath the contour. So while we're waiting, we'll do our eyebrows. So just brush the hairs up. So next, I'm taking iconic brow silk and I'm just gonna use a little wax to brush the hairs up. Next, I'm taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I'm just going to draw some hairs going up into the brow. So start off where the hairs are the most sparse and just gently build this up. just really finely drawing little hairs in you just want to catch the skin you don't want to be making any harsh marks with your pencil you want it to be like really um you want it to be really soft are you trying to get out are you trapped mm, Next, I'm just going to dust off this powder with my Peaches and Cream PC17 brush. That's just here at the top of the brow and then drag down the nose. And then I like to draw underneath and then in a little bridge. Nose contour is definitely one of the main parts of my makeup. It's not even that like, it just separates your face, it separates like the cheeks from your nose. And it just adds so much more dimension. Next, I'm going in with NARS Liquid Blusher in Luster. So I'm just popping it on the apples of the cheeks and I'm bringing it into the contour. <laughs> if you want to know what the noise is, it's a very small dog. I like to tie it into the contour around the temples. Next, I'm going in with Hourglass Ambient Bronzer and I'm just going to go over the cheekbones. Draw on. I'm taking Hourglass Ambient in Luminous Light Setting Powder. I'm just going to pop this on the high points like here like a highlighter I'm making sure this looks quite matte so I don't want to have anything too shiny so I'm just taking a little bit more powder and popping it on my chin just because I feel like it's quite shiny I'm going to take my tantal and just with a fluffy brush I'm just going to contour up my lips So I'm taking Peaches and Cream Preline Lip Liner. I 
and then I could dip it in the bottom and I'm going to take a little bit of this blusher and put, just put it all over the lips. So like one of the biggest rules for me is I like to match my lip to my blusher. So if I'm doing a pinky blush, I'll do a little bit more of a pinky tone lip. If I'm doing a mauvey blush, a mauvey tone lip, obviously red lip doesn't go with bright red blush, but you have to match the undertones. And that's our look finished. So as you can see, I've gone for a little updo. My very talented co-worker, Emily, who works in the salon, her Instagram is Emily's Roses. I'll tag her below. Uh, make sure to give her a little follow. She's given me this little 60s hair up. We've gone for like a very Bridget Bardot style to go with our makeup. There'll be have. If you do like this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe below. I'll be listing all the key products. Let me know what you want to see next time. Yeah, I think that's it really. Ciao.